we finally somewhat successfully managed to install the water tank as seen in the last video only to immediately destroy the galley and rip out the kitchen sink in order to deal with some rotten wood in there. Although the constant new projects aboard in Esperado are driving us crazy, it feels good to rip out the clearly rotten wood. We're lucky because right at the point where we started doing work on the galley, we gained access to our friend's kitchen, so we don't have to worry about putting the boat back together every night to cook dinner, which is amazing. This was the opposite. Shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're using the one large leftover piece of plywood from making our water tank to make our new countertop. I busted out the trusty old joggle stick to draw the curve where the counter meets the hull. And then it was time to make the holes for the two old sinks, which we cleaned up a bit and are in great shape for reuse. We wanted the sinks to hang from below this time around, to stop pooling water on the countertop that was the cause of the rotted wood in the first place. This process was a little more finicky than we anticipated, because we only have a jigsaw to cut out the holes. Robbie's convinced that a wood router would have saved a lot of work to cut out the squares. We cut out the holes and got on with the dry fitting of the sinks, with several screws. Some meetings on the matter were held, and we resolved to fill in the wobbly, imprecise sink edges that needed a little more meat with epoxy filler. It didn't require much filler, however the process required much time-consuming sculpting. With the sink edges looking a little nicer, we could prepare the countertop with epoxy. When you do a lot of cooking, and when you do a lot of dishwashing, you really start to think about how water resistant you want your boat countertop to be. We laid the epoxy on as much as we could spare, on both the top and the bottom side. Epoxy sand, epoxy sand. But now that the epoxy was flowing, the sander was breaking down. I changed the bearings again, and we had to order a new Velcro pad as well. You can't probably see the difference between the two pads on, on film that much, but it's night and day between the old and the new. This one won't keep the sanding pad on it as at all, won't keep the sanding disc on it at all, and this one hopefully will. With the countertop prepared, we applied the Sikaflex sealant and it was time to glue on the sinks. Again, with a couple of screws just to hold things in place. There seems to be two schools of thought on the sealant application matter. To peel the tape before it dries or to peel the tape after it dries. In this case, the room temperature was so hot that the sealant dried before I could peel it, so a knife helped to find the edge of the tape. Squeegeeing the extra Sikaflex away also would have helped to peel the tape nicely. Now all that was left to do was attach everything together, including the countertop and the countertop raised edge. And a 
epoxy the shit out of everything. I always end up epoxying in extreme heat or dripping all over it with sweat in the night. Although epoxy doesn't have the strongest chemical smell, I always wear a gas mask and cleanse my hands immediately with coconut, cooking oil, or any other sort of oily moisturizer, and a cloth if any gets onto my skin. sanding to get the whole dang kitchen ready for the moment we've all been waiting for. Paint! Our friend Jean got word of our sander troubles and immediately sent us out a new DeWalt that seems to be working a little better than the Milwaukee one. And I have started saving the sanding dust in the vacuum for reuse by filtering out the dog hair and the wood chips. Our friend let us test out a two-part marine paint that dried exceedingly fast. I don't even know if this is a time lapse. We had to work quite quickly. And the paint got used up in a jiffy. I sanded the next day in preparation for the next coat, whenever we find a way to get another can of the paint. But for now, we will just have to marvel at how far this galley has come. And in the meantime, I just continue sanding away at everything else in the boat. No surface is safe. <laughs> <laughs> 